All right, we're going to begin with that breaking news uh, that we have been following all morning long. It's a fire in West Baltimore. And sadly, firefighters have now, at 9, confirmed that one person did die in that row home fire. We want to go back out live to Amy Kawada. She's at the scene. Amy, what are firefighters saying? Meg, Denise, well, the fire is now out behind me. You can see the charred vacant row home and the damage to its neighboring building. This is the Coppin Heights neighborhood right near Coppin State University. Rescue crews are now on scene to conduct efforts to recover the deceased body. Baltimore Fire Chief confirms crews found the body underneath the collapsed second floor. Now, take a look at this cell phone video captured by a neighbor showing the massive flames coming from the top of the building. Baltimore Fire Chief says crews were called to the 2400 block of West North Avenue just before 5 this morning. When they arrived on scene, there was heavy fire and smoke coming from three vacant three-story row homes here. A second alarm was called due to the fire extending from one building to two others. And a few neighboring homes have also been evacuated due to smoke, and at least one family is now displaced. Kiara Anderson lives just two doors down from where the fire started. She says she was woken up by the smell of smoke and her mom screaming. She tells us she ran out of her home in panic without even putting her shoes on and is lucky to be alive this morning. I had my mom screaming, saying, it's a fire, it's a fire. So I just grabbed everything I had on, just ran to the door. And then I seen outside, it was sort of spreading everywhere. It was crazy because my daughter's room is right next to it. If it would have spread to the right, my daughter could have been, anything could have happened. And a Baltimore fire officials want you to know that it will take some time to recover the deceased body inside the building due to the condition of the building. The cause of the death will be determined by the medical examiner. And officials also say the cause uh, the fire is also under investigation. Reporting live in Coppin Heights, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.